everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. The lighting today is absolutely awful, so I do apologize for that. Today I'm filming a video which I have filmed every single year on my channel since I started and it is a What's in My School Bag 2021. So today I'm going to be going through my bag inside and out and show you guys everything which I'm bringing into year 10 next year. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to give it a like. It helps me out so much and also don't forget to subscribe because we're getting so close to 4,000 which oh my god, it's so exciting. Without any more rambling, let's get right into the What's in My School Bag 2021. 2021. Before I show you guys what is actually in my bag, I'm gonna show you guys which school bag I'm using. I have these two Urban Outfitters tote bags. This one I got for Christmas last year and, and this one I got more recently a few months ago. I used this one in the last term of year nine. So I wanted to use this one for the start of the new year just to kind of freshen up and kind of have a new bag, but it's not really new. They're both still in perfect condition, so I don't really see a point in getting a new bag. So this is the bag I'm starting off with. So this one is just a blush pink sort of color and it has a pocket at the front. And this one is pink with brown tiger print the pattern ones don't actually have a pocket at the front which i find really annoying as well so that was one reason why i'm wanting to start the new year with this one anyway that's the bag i'm having it's just a little blush tote bag from urban outfitters like i said before and it's quite a good size and they're really sturdy as well actually for a tote bag so, so this is the bag i'm starting off the new school year with i'll probably swap the bag after christmas but this one maybe i'm not sure but yeah that is the bag i'm using and now we're gonna get straight into what's actually inside my bag like i said this bag is a tote bag so it has a really long big main compartment here and then it has a zipped pocket at the back and it also has these two pockets over here and then a mini pocket in the front so i'm going to start off by showing you guys everything which is obviously in the main compartment first of all i have this refill pad if you haven't watched my school supplies haul make sure you go and watch that after this one so basically everything in this bag and more was featured in that video so make sure you go and watch that because everything i got for back to school and not just what is in my bag but yeah like i was saying i have this refill pad just for taking notes and doing revision and school planning anything like that so obviously it's a refill pad so it's very easy just to rip out a page and just really good for taking notes and anything really so that's why i have one in my school bag it's going to be an absolute essential for me this year next i have probably what's the most important thing in my bag which is my pencil case this pencil case is from urban outfitters it's just a little turquoisey fluffy pencil case it's a little nice little cuboid shape and actually it's kind of small but it actually fits quite a lot of stuff in here so i'm really happy i didn't want to get anything too big because actually every single year I got a huge pencil case and it's literally not needed whatsoever so this year I've gone for a slightly smaller pencil case but I absolutely love it again it's just like a little turquoise one I had this badge at the front which is from a market it just says on Wednesdays we wear pink obviously it's my favorite mean girls quote so yeah let's take a look at what's actually in my pencil case first of all I have these four pastel highlighters I tested these out actually and they are so good like look at that like the tip on that is absolutely snatched it's actually so good so I have four pastel highlighters I have three of these zebra pens I have a random little sharpener for my pencils. Speaking of pencils, I actually forgot to buy some, which is honestly so annoying. So I'm gonna have to probably pop out later today and get a couple. So I'll then add to my pencil case. Yeah, I've just got a little sharpener. Then I have these Ink Joyed colored pens, which are for marking work and for subtitles and key info for my notes and stuff like that. So I've got green, red, pink, light blue purple dark blue and orange i have these little mini scissors just for cutting out bits and pieces i have a print stick i have a plain helix rubber i have a little tipex mouse i have this black ink joy pen which came with the colored ones but obviously i'm just gonna use it for normal handwriting i have this sort of snap ruler these are so good honestly like i don't know who invented these but this is actually such a good idea because they're obviously still small but they're actually oh, a proper 30 centimeters one which i love and lastly i have some colored pencils which i had last year I didn't need to get new ones. I just cut the ones from last year. I've tied it with a little hair bubble just to keep them all together and so I didn't lose them or anything. And they're so they're easier to access them in my pencil case as well. That is my pencil case. This isn't really that necessary, but I just got a little notebook with all these little lemons on it. It just has notes in gold, which I absolutely love. Just a plain lined one, just for like maybe planning or YouTube or just bits and bobs. I probably won't end up taking it out because obviously I have my books and borders for um, all my lessons that day and stuff. Um, so I probably won't end up taking it out. But for now, I just have this little notebook just for like little random bits like YouTube and things whilst I'm at school. So I have that. This is a little bit extra, but I have my metal straws bag. 
So basically, I just have all my metal straws in here. They all came as a pack, and then I have a little cleaner as well in this little velvet case that it came in. Sometimes I go to Starbucks or Costa with my friends after school, and I absolutely hate the paper straws because they just kind of melt in your mouth. It's horrible. Um, I just sometimes just be using them because I forget to bring these. So that's why I'm bringing this here so I can try and use them more um, and not use the ugly paper ones because they're actually so annoying. And so yeah, I have some metal straws. Then I have some deodorant because especially for pee and stuff. I, this is actually like a pound, and it's just like this Charlie red one. Um, it smells so good actually guys um so i obviously have that in my bag at all times let's quickly mention that usually i'd have a hairbrush in my bag but i'm planning on having braids when i'm starting school because i got these braids done for my birthday and i was thinking i'll just take them down before school starts and have my natural hair but i'm thinking of redoing my braids when i go back to school so i won't need a hairbrush um obviously i'll have my natural hair some more down the line this year so i have to start bringing a hairbrush when i have my natural hair again but for now i don't need one Next, I have my water bottle. So I actually have loads of bottles. It's kind of a problem, but I just put this one in for now for the purpose of the video. It's just this white hydro flask. It's actually really big. It's like over a liter, I think. Yeah, it's almost a liter. Um, so it's quite chunky, which means that I will get all my water drunk. And I feel like having a bottle motivates me to drink water because I just kind of sit there less and suck on it. So I've just got this little white hydro flask to help me stay hydrated and focused throughout the school day. And then I have my purse. It's actually just a random one I've had for years. It's a Kath Kids one so i have all my coins in here and then i have my notes in the back and then all my cards over here so it basically just stores everything this pair and the last thing in the main compartment is this little like makeup bag thing which i got from tiger and it's just like blue one with like all these little planets on it i think i don't really know what they are but they're cool i've had this bag for a couple years now but inside the bag i just have loads of pads because obviously obviously when it's that time of the month i don't want to be scrambling to the school office asking for pads so it's always best to have your own i've just got five in here maybe if my friends need some running Thing. I've just got some in there which are always handy to have. Now moving on to things in this little zip pocket at the back. First of all I have my calculator because obviously it's GCSE season and so I have my scientific calculator for all my maths and my science and stuff like that so I just have this white Casio one. I've had this since like the end of year 8 but it works absolutely fine so I've just got that in my back pocket. It does fit fine in this pencil case but it's just a little bit tight so I thought I'd just keep it in the back of my bag. I can still access it fine and stuff so I've just got my little calculator for all my maths equations which i'm not gonna lie i'm not excited for but i need to have it for gcse's so i've got that next i have this random hand gel i used to carry one around anyway but especially now in covid times it is so important to have one i know the schools have them everywhere but it's always good to have your own so this is just a little random one i'm not really sure where it's from but it's actually just really good like it smells nice and it's not all sticky and disgusting i know the school ones are literally so sticky and horrible but this ones are actually quite good then i have my airpods this is an absolute essential for me i listen to music and podcast on the way to school and also in lessons i can sometimes listen to music too so it's always important to have my airpods with me all the time so i've also got them and i've got a hair bubble hair tie hair band whatever you want to call it because if you don't have one you actually need to get one in your bag right now they are so important to have um and for pe and stuff as well i need to have one so i've got a hair band literally just for any reason i just have one on my wrist too as you can see but it's always good to have another one in your bag and then i have a lip balm and a lip gloss so i just have this random lip balm i got from wilco because there is nothing worse and sitting in a class with dry lips especially in winter oh my god it's my absolute worst thing so i always make sure i have a lip balm in my bag this isn't really proper lip gloss because i've run out of most of my lip glosses i need to get some more actually when i go to boots next but i use carmax as more of a lip gloss because it is glossy so carmax is more of a lip gloss than a lip balm to me yeah lip gloss makes you look so put together in my opinion so i always have a lip balm for obviously hydrating my lips and a lip gloss just to make myself look more put together and then finally in the front pocket of my bag i just have a mask because i don't have to wear them in lessons anymore but I have to wear masks in the corridors and stuff when I'm going from lesson to lesson. And last year, my mask was always lost somewhere in my bag. Like, I was always scrambling for my bag to get it, and it was such a nightmare. So this year, I'm just going to keep it in the front pocket since I'm using this bag, which has a pocket in, just so it's easier to find and everything when I'm looking for my mask. Got that in the front pocket, and that is actually everything in my bag. Obviously, throughout the year, my bag will change depending on what I'm doing that day, like for lessons wise, if I'm bringing lunch that day to school and things like that. But those are my main essentials, which I always always have in my school bag and yeah so that is everything i keep in my bag i hope you guys all enjoyed make sure you give it a like if you did it helps me out so much make sure you subscribe as well i've got so much more back to school content coming and my content in general coming up this is going to be so exciting so hopefully you guys enjoy it and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye